Lisa Victor here and welcome to My Dyslexic Life. The first thing I wanted to say was actually thank you for commenting on these videos and um, for telling me a little bit about how you know hearing my stories has helped you or resonated with you. You know I really I really love kind of connecting with you wherever you are in the world. So today I wanted to talk about an experience that happened to me this week and it's just a really good reminder how sometimes words can get so misconstrued for dyslexics. You know, if you've been following our content or a little bit about these videos or Truth About Dyslexia or Stephen's podcast, you'll know that we talk about the dyslexic mind is a visual mind. And we actually understand pictures so much um, easier than we understand words. So I realized I'd been talking to um, some people about being equal and my idea of equal was different from their idea of equal and it was really interesting because I realized I was using this word and in my head equal had one particular meaning you know I had a picture of us all around a board table um, you know and we were all equal but for the other person, their picture of equal was something different. And what I realized is that when I'd been communicating, you know, oh, so I see if we set this up, that will all be equal. You know, the picture in my mind immediately was people around a board table. Um, and every time I used it, that was the picture I could see. And it was just a really good reminder for me, um, you know, even even with all the stuff I know about being dyslexic, is how easily uh, communication can go wrong. And I think that's even more so when you're communicating with another dyslexic. Because say the other person's picture has got to do more with the mathematical um, uh, definition of equal, or their picture of equal is say profit sharing, okay? So immediately we've kind of got two different ideas, but you wouldn't know that just by using the word equal. And that's exactly what happened this year. Um, sorry, just saw my light pop in then. <laughs> um, that's exactly what happened this week was um, we were having a meeting and we were discussing things and um, emotions ran a little bit high. And after the emotions had calmed down, what we realized was actually happening was um, we had different kind of uh, images about what this one word meant. So I guess I just wanted to share, you know, even knowing about dyslexia, even with using my Davis tools and all my other knowledge about dyslexia, you know, sometimes communicating is, is tricky. And I think when you add emotions into that, then, then it gets even more complex. So it's really just to remind myself and just to let you guys know that sometimes it's really good to ask the person, you know, what's your picture for that? And that way you'll get an insight into what they're seeing in their dyslexic mind. Let me know if you try this and let me know if it works. Have a great week wherever you are and I'll see you again soon.